Hello there, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can send files between cross-platform devices completely free and easily without the need of airdrop or plugging in a cable or Bluetooth, as this is basically airdrop but cross-platform and a lot simpler, in my opinion. If you don't know what airdrop is, it is a service which allows you to send files between Apple devices seamlessly, which is, you guessed it, only available on Apple devices because Apple want your money. Now, in my case, I don't use Apple devices. In fact, I'm an Android user and a Windows PC user, so I don't actually have this functionality. And how do you get this functionality, may I ask? Uh, you don't. Basically, you just have to live with USB cables. Thanks for watching. Hope this was a good video. Okay, no, I'm joking. But basically, there's an app called Snapdrop, which allows you to do this exact thing without having iPhone, and it's practically perfect for people like me, who are not buying into the Apple ecosystem because they don't want to sell their soul to Apple. So... As you can see, I have a Samsung phone and a Windows desktop, and I want to send a photo from my phone to my Windows PC. How would I do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to hop over to my phone, and I'm going to go ahead and open the Google Play Store, and you're going to want to install the Snapdrop app. It might be called something like Snapdrop and Pairdrop or something similar, basically because it's a couple of different services which do the exact same thing, but I'm going to be showing you what Snapdrop is today. Go ahead and install the app on your phone, and then once you've installed it, go ahead and press open. You'll be given a setup screen like this one. It might vary if you're using an iPhone. Pretty sure they have an app for iOS as well. Go ahead and click continue. And in this case, I'm going to be using snapdrop.net. But they are practically the exact same thing. But just because this is what I'm used to, I am going to use snapdrop.net. Go and click continue. And then you'll be given this come up on your screen. And this will tell you where you should go depending on which one you clicked. In my case, I'm using snapdrop. So I need to go to snapdrop.net on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So you're going to go onto your browser and you're going to go to snapdrop.net and you will see this come up on your computer I'm gonna press finish on my phone and you'll see that they both show up on the right you can see my phone and on the left you can see my computer they have both detected each other and I can actually send files between them it does have a randomized name I'm pretty sure you can change that if you wanted to but in my case I don't really care so I just leave it as a randomized net so in order to send a photo from my phone I can go ahead and press on the button on my phone and it'll show me all the photos and things on my device so I can go ahead and click gallery as I have a Samsung phone and I'm gonna go ahead and tap on a photo of my cat because why not you see it says transferring and now you see the photo of my cat come up on the computer screen and yep it asks if you want to save it or not go ahead and press save and then there is my JPEG of my cat yep beautiful photo of my cat wombat and it's the exact same process for going from PC to phone you simply click on your device and then you find the photo or whatever you want to send. So let me just go ahead and send my wallpaper because that's what I have on hand right now. And you'll see it does come off on my phone with the wallpaper asking me if I want to save it or not. So if I go ahead and press save, you'll see it says successful. You can press open, choose where to open it. And there's the photo, which is my wallpaper. So yeah, it comes through very, very easy, super simple and easy to use. Now there's one other feature which I find very helpful with this, which is text sharing. It might not sound very handy to you because you can just send it between devices using like Discord or WhatsApp, but say you don't want to use that and say you want to just do it simply with a website, you can tap and hold on the device on your uh, phone and it will come up with the send a message dialog. So if I say, hello, my name is Oliver, and then I press send and you'll see, hello, my name is Oliver, come up on the computer screen. And I can do the exact same thing. I can copy it if I want to. So this is really good for sending like long strings that you don't want to type out. So say I want to do it on my computer. I right click on my phone and it gives me the same dialogue. Hello there, Oliver. I am Oliver as well. Funny that. It's almost like I'm the same person. Press send and you'll see that come up on my phone. So I hope this little tutorial was helpful to you. It's just a very simple app, which I used to be able to send data between my phone and my computer. It's very, very handy due to no compression at all. As you saw with that photo of my cat, it is completely uncompressed and it is just, the blur is just my phone. But yeah, it, it you know, it's really, really good being able to send things without having to mess about with WhatsApp compression, which looks awful. So if you like this video, like it if you want, I don't really mind. And you can subscribe if you have more of my videos. And I hope this was helpful to somebody. If it was, let me know. If you have any ideas, feel free to comment or message me. And see you later. Bye.